multiplication of three and four digit numbers by three digit number. Today, let us learn the multiplication of three and four digit numbers by a three digit number. Let us begin with the multiplication of 359 and 243. We can divide the whole process into four steps. Step 1. Multiply 359 by the ones digit of the multiplier, that is 3. 9 into 3 is equal to 27. 5 into 3 is equal to 15 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 17. Now, 3 into 3 is equal to 9 plus the carried over 1 which is equal to 10. We will call 1077 as the first partial product. Step 2. Multiply 359 by the digit in the tens place of the multiplier, that is 4. As the digit 4 is in the tens place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 359 by 40. So, we write a 0 below the digit 7 of the first partial product. Next, 9 into 4 is equal to 36. Now, 5 into 4 is equal to 20 plus the carried over 3 is equal to 23. Next, 3 into 4 is equal to 12 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 14. So we get 14,360 as the second partial product. Step 3. Now multiply 359 by the digit in the hundreds place of the multiplier, that is 2. As the digit 2 is in the hundreds place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 359 by 200. So, we write a 0 below the digits 0 and 6 of the second partial product. Next, 9 into 2 is equal to 18. Now, multiply 5 into 2, which is equal to 10 plus the carried over 1, which is equal to 11. Then, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 7. So, we get 71,800 as the third partial product. Step 4. Now add the three partial products obtained. That is, 1077 plus 14,360 plus 71,800 to get the answer which is equal to 87,237. Now let us find the product of 3247 by 108. Let us multiply 3247 by the ones digit of the multiplier, that is 8. 7 into 8 is equal to 56. 4 into 8 is equal to 32 plus the carried over 5 is equal to 37. 2 into 8 is equal to 16 
plus the carried over 3 is equal to 19. And lastly, 3 into 8 is equal to 24 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 25. We will call 25,976 as the first partial product. Next, we multiply 3,247 by the tens digit of the multiplier 108. As the digit 0 is in the tens place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 3,247 by 0. So, we write a 0 below the digit 6 of the first partial product. Next, 7 into 0 is equal to 0. 4 into 0 is equal to 0. 2 into 0 is equal to 0. Then, 3 into 0 is equal to 0. So, we get 0 as the second partial product. Now, multiply 3247 by the hundreds digit of 108, that is 1. As the digit 1 is in the hundreds place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 3247 by 100. So, we write a 0 below the digits 0 and 0 of the second partial product. Now, 7 into 1 is equal to 7. 4 into 1 is equal to 4. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Now, 3 into 1 is equal to 3. So, we get 3,24,700 as the third partial product. Now, add the three partial products obtained. That is, 25,976 plus 0 plus 3,24,700 to get the answer which is equal to 3,50,676. Remember kids, there will be as many partial products as there are digits in the multiplier. Wasn't it easy learning multiplication of 3 and 4 digit numbers by a 3 digit number?